I like biology, outdoors, animals. So that's why I went to vet school in Germany. The plan really wasn't to become a veterinarian. That was sort of would have been plan B. I loved going to vet school because it was about the broadest biology education and training you could get. I work on some very sort of narrow focus problem, but food safety really caught my interest because of the impact at the end of the day. I was do science and, and communicate science that will make food safer and more sustainable. It's just the impact of that always intrigued me and, and has me still has me excited every day I get out. And so that's why I then went on to get a PhD in food science from Cornell and then was fortunate to start my own research group in, in 1999. And I just had tremendous fortune of working with great students, great staff that still challenge me every day. And Well, I think passionate about research, I mean, that there's always, I think most of us in research will always have that, that sort of ability to fulfill your childlike curiosity, right? You want to know, you want to know certain things, but but that's only part. I mean, I think the other one is the ability to, to define questions and find answers to questions that, you know, as cheesy as may sound, make the world a better world, right? Make food safer, make sure the environmental impact of food production is, is continuously reduced. And, and do that, but then to take that and, and, and be able to see it applied. And, and yeah, and I think it's the to me, the, the communication of it is really a two-way street. I love communicating it, not just because I love to tell people things, but I love to hear back from them because that makes our research more relevant. A lot of it is practice. Um, is in building and giving them the opportunities to practice it. Whether we send them to go to farms, to talk to farmers, to talk to farm workers, whether we send them to go to processing plants. I think it's it's part of just building the opportunities for them to learn and 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 understand and start to appreciate the breadth of audiences and appreciate how to understand your audience and how to adjust your communications to the audience. It, as I said, it felt it was an honor, but then it was like really a, a good time for introspection and see, you know, what what do you want to do with, with, with my career? But really an eye opener. But I think more than anything, it's really it's encouragement and obligation to continue to work on what I've done and to to maybe even be more mindful about it. How do we have more people effectively communicate science? talk to people, talk to people of all walks of life. You know, we, we, it's easy for us to get into lecture mode. Don't forget the listening mode. You can learn so much from people. Science community is not a one. I think often you think about that, it's like the scientists communicate to us. No, it's gotta be a two-way street.